Oh my god. This is so cool. You're in my car. Oh, I really want you to go the other way though. I'm like trying to flip you. That's why I'm parked, so don't stress. Oh my god, yay, you're in my car. I hate like techie stuff like car mounts and like setting up like Xboxes and like stuff like that. And I just set up my own car mount and I'm so proud of myself. That package is really ruining the aesthetic. Alright, whatever you can say. Um, but you're in my car and you're mounted properly. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, we need to go get fuel. I don't know why I'm yelling. Let me pack up all this carnage from trying to set up that car mount. I really hope this is like I mean the JB Hi-Fi guy said it's a good one. And I trust like he really knew what he was talking about. It seemed like. But currently parked in a place I don't think I'm supposed to be parked. So let's just quickly move. But I'm filming a little mukbang. We can go through drive through Starbucks and get um let's try some Starbucks drinks. And then I don't want to go through Maccas because I got a new car and I don't want it to smell like Maccas. So I'm thinking we I don't know what to eat. There's like Macca's, KFC, Mexican. Okay, I can't believe I'm doing this in my new car, but I'm going to KFC. Honestly, I don't even regret it because I'd rather get it into my car smells like KFC rather than Macca's. What is this, what is this line doing? <clears throat> but I couldn't, I couldn't just get a drink. Like, when do I ever just get a drink in my mukbangs? Everyone was replying saying, please get sushi. And that would be iconic because I'm pretty sure the last time, no, surely that's not the last time I did a mukbang with sushi that was ages ago basically every time i used to do a mukbang because i used to do like a weekly it was actually all i used to film it's just like woman okay um i used to do like weekly and i used to get sushi but it's cold and i never feel like sushi when it's cold and it's freezing and as you can see it's raining I hope it's not too loud in the back of the video but i'm gonna get kfc i don't know what i'm gonna get i'm nervy i don't know i'm gonna get chips and potato and gravy obviously and maybe a pepsi freeze but it's cold so but i don't eat gluten i wish i could but i don't do i order here wrong window hi can i please get a large chips and a small potato and gravy and a large pepsi freeze um and four original tenders that's it, thank you. Oh, and a sweet and sour sauce, please. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. She was like, get the fuck. She was like, is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Don't blame her. Yeah, please. Uh, uh, I'm stressed. Going through drive through stresses me out, and it's raining. But Starbucks is like, Three minutes away. I'm so excited. Yeah, sweet and sour, please. Thank you. Let's go over the way, Starbucks. All right. I don't know why Starbucks drive through excites me so much. I think it's just something when you're not used to something. This rain's definitely gonna be so loud. I don't really know what to do. Ooh. Ooh, it's really close to hitting something then um like obviously like i'm sure if we didn't have many kfc drive throughs it would be special do you know what i mean but because there's literally none like i've had to drive like so like out of the way to get to this starbucks it's just like 20 times more exciting all right let's go through drive through i don't know what starbucks to get of course i'm gonna get a chai because i have to get a chai it's illegal if you don't get a chai in winter but i don't know what else to get i might just look at the menu and just pick something so random Let's just do it. Let's just get something so random. I'm scared. Hi, just having a look, thank you. Can I please get a tall cookies and cream frappuccino? With coffee, Tom? Um, yes, please. With coffee and what sort of a tall? Sorry, a tall? Tall, yep, yeah, with yes. almond milk. Almond milk. Do you want cream on top? Um, yes, please. Sure. And then also a tall chai latte and almond milk uh, we don't have chai at the moment. oh that's okay just that one then oh good chai stand up thank you thank you oh. <gasps> oh. oh my god i've actually got tears in my eyes why don't they have chai
it's winter. Look, also look at my tan. I haven't washed it off my face yet. It's winter. You're not allowed to not have chai. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know how to handle that information. Imagine I came all the way here just to get a chai and they didn't. Like, thank god I got KFC. Imagine oh, I didn't get KFC. We would have, would have had nothing. I'm so distraught after that information. Hi. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Forgot I had to pay. Forgot that was a thing. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Okay, let's go. Literally just totally forgot I had to pay. She was like 9.35 and I was like, oh, money. Yes, I have to pay. Mm -hmm. Let's find a park, preferably undercover, but I'm now noticing they don't have undercover parking. Who's calling me? Okay. Let's feast. So I'm gonna try this little cafe frap. We will get into the questions, I promise. Just gonna try this. Ooh, I mean cookies and cream frap. Oh my god. Oh my god, yum. Cookies and cream coffee frappe with almond milk. Mmm. Oh my god. Okay, let's make a thumbnail. Alright, let's eat because I feel like this is going to get cold. Chips are cold. That's our own fault. Mmm, the chips are cold. Oh, I'm really sad. Potato and gravy is a literal must. If any of this any of this spills in my car, I'll be fuming. Let's try a little tendy. Oh, mm, it's hot. Mm, oh yeah. Mm, I love food. Hey, let's answer some questions. What keeps you up and motivated with everyday life? I hope you're well, Missy. Alana, she's so cute. Um, I think the fact that I literally am blessed with such a great life and blessed with so many amazing things. I love getting up and, and being at it in my day. I love my job, I love my family, I love where I'm living. I love the people in my life. So I'm very blessed that it's very easy to get up and live every day because of what I have and I will never ever take that for granted and if I start to take it for granted I hope someone smacks me over the head and gives me some perspective because as of now I'm very grateful for what I have and I think it's very easy for me to get up and get at it because I'm just so happy to be alive and be around the people I am and be doing the job I'm doing and life's just really good for me at the moment and I'm very 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 grateful for it. How come you never got braces or Invisalign when you were younger? Well this is the thing my mum was gonna get them for me she like begged me to get them she was like get them now like you'll regret them if you don't and i was like i have the worst pain tolerance like i am a wuss i'm just gonna turn my car on because i feel a bit weird that it's off like i am a wuss she was like babe like get them like you'll regret it if you don't and i was like mm, look i don't really want to go through a few years of pain so I didn't get them and now I want them. I am getting Invisalign though. I just have to get my jaw fixed first because I get really bad like jaw locking and jaw clicking and the um, dentist will, he said I have to get that fixed first. So I'm on a mission to get my jaw fixed and then I'll be getting Invisalign and then it'll take like eight months and I'll have straight teeth, hopefully. This is really yummy. How's been going back to the gym? Amazing. Like literally, the first time I worked out and got back at it, I almost cried. Like I texted my mum. Let me see what I texted her. I texted my mum and I was just so like, oh God, it's gonna take me to forever to find it because I remember when I sit and text each other all day. I was just like, because my plan was just to go back and even just like put active wear on, fill up my water bottle, head down to the gym, like even just get in that mindset of feeling like I'm doing something and feeling like I'm being in control and in routine because with lupus or with like any autoimmune disease, my mum was FaceTiming me, sorry mum, not right now. With like any autoimmune disease or any condition of any sort, you feel so out of control and someone DM me saying like, 
I know what it's like to have lupus and autoimmune and feel so out of control of your body. And the gym is one thing that made me feel good because I could control something about my body. So that really like was like, wow, yeah, so true. So I was like, even if I just go down and stretch, do a few stretches, do a few like Pilates bits maybe. So I went down to the gym. I felt really good. Like I, if you're new here, I used to go to the gym like five, six times a week and went, I lift weights. And I absolutely loved it. I was such like a gym junkie. It was like my, my happy place. Like I could have been in the worst place ever. As soon as I go to the gym, like I feel amazing. Anyway, it feels amazing to be back. I'm feeling great. I love the feeling of waking up and my legs and ass being so sore. It, not even kidding, that's not even sarcasm. I absolutely love it. Let me try and find the text I sent my mom. But yeah, literally, I cannot explain how amazing it is. Like I almost cried and I'm so grateful to be back. I am, it's just really hard though because it's very hard to go and do something that you used to be like quite good at and used to be quite strong. Oh, messy. I used to hip thrust like 80 kilos and now I can only hip thrust the bar or like 10 kilos so it is hard um in that sense like it is hard going back to something like that used to be so good at and now I can barely do anything but I understand that that's happened and I'm accepting that and I'm just grateful to be back and it feels amazing I'm actually starting to take creatine so we'll see how that goes I've never taken it even when I was like full gym junkie mode I never took it I would have like protein powder but it would always like make me let me shit if you if you get what I'm saying so I stopped taking it I texted my mom. 27th of June. Fuck, it feels good to work out. I feel myself again. Legs are going to hurt tomorrow. Mom said, oh my God, I'm so happy for you. It was always your drug of choice. I said, can I explain how good that felt? She said, what did you do? I said, just some stretching. I did the bike, which killed me and was making her to breathe. It was literally so bad. But I only saw small sets because I'm so weak. Who are you most excited to see? It's Splendor. <gasps> I think Jack Harlow. Like, I wasn't really a big Jack Harlow fan, um, but I'm starting to get into his music and I'm obsessed. Also, Disclosure, um, who's going? Let me look at the lineup. I keep forgetting who's going. I'm not really, and don't come for me, I'm not really a, um, oh, I don't have any Wi-Fi on this phone. It doesn't have any SIM card. Um, I'm not really a Tyler the Creator fan. I feel like everyone's really, like, he's huge. And I understand, like, his music's good, but I've never really been, like, obsessed with him. So I'm more excited for, like, Jack Harlow. Is Flume going? I can't remember. Disclosure. Um, like those like little like not little but like not the headliners like I'm not that excited for the headliners but I'm so excited like I'm literally like so keen I'm like hopefully gonna have so much fun all right let's just address the question the elephant in the room the question everyone wants to know am I dating anyone am I single drum roll please I am single um that's why I haven't really addressed anything because people just love to like assume and just like jump on things which is like obviously fair enough but I am single single pringle I love being single it's the best um, obviously like I am choosing to keep that side of my life quite private and I hope people can respect that I do understand being an influencer you do show most parts of your life But I just feel like there's some things that I obviously want to keep private like family and relationships And I'm quite open with my health and stuff Most things I do keep to myself like I just share a tiny bit of my health I know it feels like I'm constantly talking about it, but it's honestly not that much that I share so just like little things like my family my relationship where I'm living like all that stuff I'm just not going to be sharing that side of my life just because I like I am quite a private person and I know like I'm going to get hate and people being like that's your job is to like share your life with us and I do understand but at the end of the day I am like a fashion beauty influencer and that's what my job is my job isn't to share every intricate part of my life although I know most influencers do do that so I understand that you guys might feel like you have a right to know all those things but just personally I am not going to be sharing that side of my life with you guys I just feel like it can get messy and I just like to keep some things to myself I think it makes it more special and also I don't like to exploit like family or relationships or anything for content or anything like that so yes I am single but I um that's why I haven't really addressed it because I just really want to keep that part of my life private so yeah addressing that question do you realize how much of an impact you have on other people's lives no this like I just I can't comprehend that other people like me or appreciate my content or look out for my content or and it feels stupid because i have a million followers on tiktok and 300k on instagram like i understand people do follow me and i understand obviously people like my content some guys like why are you talking to myself i do understand that people follow me so clearly people care but i just can't get it through my tiny brain that people actually care what i'm doing do you know what i mean i just like have this weird like complex or like weird oh, look at that i really need to wash that off weird like thing with myself where I can't I can't accept that anyone else likes me or 
like cares about me like that sounds so bad and i don't know where it comes from because obviously like i have the most loving like mom and family ever and i understand that they like care and appreciate for me but maybe it comes from like being bullied in high school like i just can't comprehend like even when a guy like likes me i'm like you're pranking me like you're lying like i remember some guy like like liked me at one point in like high school and i was like telling all my friends i was like i know he's pranking me like i know it's a joke like i know like everyone's gonna come out me like oh my god you just got pranked like it's just a weird thing i have with myself maybe it stems from like my body dysmorphia like i don't know but i just have this weird thing where i don't I fully think that anyone can like like and appreciate me it's so weird we're getting really deep but so no i don't really understand that i have an impact on people's lives and i'm so like i could literally cry thinking about that maybe i do but it doesn't really sit with me that I do. Like, I don't really accept that I do because I just, it just doesn't click in my head. But some girl came up to me the other day. Where was I? She came up to me. I think I was, oh, is that, I think I was at the markets. And two girls came up to me and they, I was hugging them and taking photos and stuff and talking to them. And one of the girls had like tears in her eyes and she whispered to me really quietly and she goes, she was like, I love you. I love you. Like saying all this stuff. I was like, thank you so much. Like hugging her. And she was like, she like looked into my soul and I will never, ever, ever forget it. And we were at the front of the markets and she looked at me and I'm pretty sure like I was hugging her or something. And she looked at me and she said, I would not be here without you. And I, I can't like, I literally like, I'm going to start crying thinking about it. It just like, I got goosebumps. Like she was staring into my soul. She had tears in her eyes and she was like, I genuinely would not be here without you. Like you saved me. And I literally like my friends were like waiting for me like they weren't standing near me they couldn't hear me and i went back to the group and i was like hey let's go and just the whole day i was just like oh my god like the whole day i wanted to cry just thinking about that and that that moment but like in itself has changed my life just that one moment in itself it does it for me like i don't need to know that anyone else just as long as i've impacted one person positively that's honestly all i care about i'm really going on tangents today with these questions but no I don't realise how much I impact people's lives to answer your question. Girl, I need to know how your tan doesn't transfer all of your clothes when it's wet. Okay, I get so many questions about this. I do film like a lot of like work, like content in wet tan. Um, I use Bondi Sands and when I put on like the first layer, I put on the first layer, it'll look really light, like it won't really look like much. And obviously it will be wet. Like I, I understand that it doesn't dry straight away. But the Aero honestly does dry pretty quickly. Like within half an hour, I can put clothes on. But I don't put clothes on straight away. So every time I say, oh, I have wet tan on, it'll be, it would have been on my body for at least like five hours. And it's fully dry. Like it doesn't transfer. Like it's amazing. I don't know whether that's just Bondi Sands or I know Bondi Sands is amazing. So maybe it is. And maybe if you don't use Bondi Sands, maybe that's why. Maybe try Bondi Sands and see. But I always film content with tan on. Obviously, like, it is still risky and sometimes it does still get in my clothes, but, like, I got shit to do and I'm not about to wait, like, 12 hours while my tan's on and pause my whole life, do you know what I mean? So, maybe it is Bondi Sands, I don't know, but it's just always worked for me, but I obviously, like, I don't put clothes on straight away, like, I'm not going to put wet tan on and then, oh my god, it's starting to rain, I'm not going to put wet tan on then jeans on, like, I'm careful with what I put on, but that's what, that's your answer. What do you do with all the clothes you feel you don't need anymore? So... For those of you that don't know, I actually go through Hunter Markets. They are some amazing girls that work together and sell all my clothes for me. Basically, they sell all my clothes and they give me the money and they like take a commission. That's how it works. And I can do whatever with the money I can keep and I can donate it, whatever. I do donate 100% of it to Ronald McDonald House. If you guys know me, you would know that I have supported Ronald McDonald House since day dot, since I can remember. And all the proceeds go to there. Obviously, I don't feel right taking money off clothes that I got sent and didn't even buy like that just doesn't sit right with me and it's also just an easy way to donate to run a McDonald house so that's what i do i'm gonna be doing a new drop soon i've got a cupboard full of clothes at home all of them are like pretty much brand new with tags on or stuff that i bought myself and only worn a few times and i don't really i'm not that messy with my clothes so most of them are in amazing quality but yeah in amazing condition not quality but yeah hunter markets follow them on instagram to stay updated and they're going to be doing a new drop of my stuff soon because i'm about to drop off like heaps of boxes to them and yeah that's who i use and they're amazing they're honestly so so good so that's what i do and i honestly like give them clothes all the time like i'm constantly going through my cupboard if i haven't worn it, worn it within the past like three weeks she's going fave eyebrow products so i do love the refi brow gel but i also love brow code um brow pencil and pomade that slays but also i've been using the kylie cosmetics brow pencil recently and it's honestly like it's a serve so highly recommend like those three products three things you couldn't live without oh obviously water but we're not going to count that my mum a hundred percent like I'm not even going to talk about it because i'll start crying i'm just going to leave it at my mum um 
chai as of now chai um maybe like a good hoodie you know like this hoodie slays from outdated it's just like a small business and it's so comfy perfect size probably could have come up with something better for those three answers besides my mum probably could have come up with something better but i would have thought about it way too hard do you have your nips pierced yes i got it i got one of them pierced recently my friend came over to stay with me and she had hers pierced and i could see and i've always wanted mine done for so long and i was like did it hurt and she was like no and i was like fuck it i was like let's get my nipple pierced so i literally within the spur of the moment which is so the way to do it like my friend was like don't book an appointment let's just go right now or you'll bitch it and you'll back out because i have such a low pain tolerance as i was telling you i'm really sorry if the rain's loud i was like fuck it i was like let's go got in the car drove somewhere called made sure i could go in went in she couldn't come with me to hold my hand because it was an intimate piercing laid there got it pierced didn't even like it hurt obviously it's something going through your flesh but it doesn't even hurt now i probably got it done like two weeks ago it doesn't hurt literally it's fine it's healing cross your fingers it's healing well touch wood um i've just been spraying it with like the spray they give you highly recommend if you're thinking of getting it trust me i have the worst pain tolerance i've been wanting it for months i think it's like even a year since i've been wanting it and it looks amazing especially if you're like me and i don't think i own a bra like i never wear bras in like little baby tees or little long sleeves or little tops it just looks so cute to like peek through so i highly recommend it. it honestly didn't hurt that bad especially like after like it just throbbed for like a few hours after i got it but even like the next day it didn't hurt couldn't feel it. it was fine to sleep like literally everything I don't know if this rain's too loud and whether I should move. This is really yummy. Oh my god, it's so good. Who's your favorite minion? Come on, guys, it's Bob. Not even any other freaking option. Thoughts on Tasha and Andrew? Oh my god. Oh my god, there's literally chocolate on my tooth. That's so embarrassing. Oh my god. Let's talk about Love Island. Oh my god. So, I'm up to the part where the next episode they're going to recouple so i haven't seen the recoupling yet by the time this is out probably the recoupling would have been up but i'm obsessed with this season like i feel like it's pretty good like obviously everyone it's a known fact that the best season was normally made tommy season five i think it was but i think this season's actually pretty good i don't watch australian love island anymore i hate it i feel like it's so like cringe and boring and yeah it's just gone downhill but the uk one always slaps and i hope it stays that way because love island's like one of my favorite shows i absolutely love luca and Gemma, and i hope that what they have is like true and they're not putting it on because i feel like it is so sweet and just like the way he's like so obsessed with her and isn't afraid to tell her like i just think that's so cute like i he's not playing any games like it feels like with her emotions like he's just always saying like i'm obsessed with you like I'm so into you like I love that like it's so, like why don't guys why are you like I get like you don't want to get your feelings hurt but like it's just so refreshing to see that and I love I I don't like it but like it's funny how she's like ill like get off me like that's literally me like I usually don't like affection and stuff like that so I love them I if you haven't watched like the last few episodes skip this I am so angry at Jax Oh my god, they were literally my favourite couple. Like, I love Paige. She's such a sweetie. At the start, I was kind of like, oh, like, she's alright. Like, she's kind of boring. But literally, like, since watching the show, I love her. Like, she seems... She honestly seems so, like, gentle and just humble and kind. Like, I actually really, really like her. Like, as a person, she seems so beautiful. And then Casa Amor... I'm so angry. He's like, oh, well, I won't know if I like Paige unless I mac on with someone else. No, babe! You don't need to kiss someone else to know that you like someone! Oh my god, he's, I can see why Gemma broke up with him, like she literally said at the start that she couldn't trust him when he went out and stuff like on a night out, I 100% get that now, I literally used to love them, they used to be like my favourite couple, like I thought they were so cute with each other, like I was always a bit like, not weary of him, but I never like really loved him, but I loved Paige and I loved them together, and now he's like, well I'm not going to know if I like Paige unless I mack on with someone else, no babe, you don't need to, like, oh my god, I'm spitting, you don't need to someone else or someone else to know that you like someone it doesn't work like that i get talking to people like i get cracking on i'm using all the uk references right now i get like talking to someone and seeing and being like oh i like page more but you don't need to stick your tongue down someone's throat to know that your feelings are real oh my god can you tell i've been angry about that i just makes me so angry anyway i can't stand ek and sue the first like 
first few episodes after she came in, I literally almost stopped watching. Like, she is just something else. Recently, she's kind of calmed down and she's, I don't know why I'm yelling, she's growing on me. She actually is quite funny. I feel like they're showing more of her personality. And when you watch the unseen bits, you kind of see that she's just, she's just weird and quirky. Like, that's just her. But, like, I hate how she just goes around and spreads gossip and drama. Like, I don't like her at all. I don't really mind Danico, like... She's alright. Who else do I like? I love India. I feel like she's such a cutie. She kind of gives me like Amber vibes from season 5. Is it Amber? The one with like the big hair. Um, who else do I like? I don't like Tasha and Andrew. Don't like either of them. They're both annoying. I don't know why. Andrew annoys me so bad. He's like, oh, I don't care what everyone's saying. Like, I, I'm, I like Tasha. I like she's amazing. Then someone comes in and he's like, she's mocking me off. Fuck her. Like, I'm going to crack on. I'm like, what are you talking about? At least tell Tasha that before she goes to Catherine Moore. If she doesn't bring back Billy, I will be so angry because I know, like, the, the boys just got in Andrew's head and he's like, yeah, fuck her. She's mugging you off, like, all this stuff. Do you like my UK accent? And now he's like, he's like, yeah, like, he's such, like, a, he's so, like, he's such a pushover. Like, I feel like he's so, like, yeah, lads. Like, he's so, like, whatever the boys want. Like, oh, like, have some opinion on your, like, have your own opinion on something. Like, oh, my God, he seems like such a pushover. Oh, my God, I'm getting really hated talking about this. But, yeah, don't like Andrew and Tasha at all. Who else is there? <clears throat> Oh, I love Jay. Jay seems like such a sweetie. Anyway, I need to switch the topic or I'm literally going to talk about this forever. What's your opinion on star signs, crystals, tarot card readings, and mediums? I am so for all of this stuff and I hate when, like, guys, especially bad girls, being like, oh my god, if she's a crystal girl, run. Like, I understand that people can be, like, super full on with it, but being, like, a crystal girl and, like, a, like a star sign girl isn't a bad thing. Like, I feel like it's super disrespectful when people are like, oh my god, like, she's into star signs, like, run. Like, I understand, like, it's a bit annoying when people are like, oh, what are you? Oh, Pisces. Oh, I can't stand Pisces. Like, I don't like people like that. But I feel like being into it and being interested about it isn't a bad thing. And I hate that it's got, like, this stigma around it that, like, girls that are into star signs are, like, crazy. Like, Shut up. Like, I hate when guys say that. Anyway, I th I'm all for it. I'm so, like, I am very spiritual with that stuff. Like, the universe and, like, I've literally got an 11 tattooed on me because I see it everywhere and it is my angel number. I have a Sagittarius tattoo. Like, I'm literally, like, so for all that stuff. I'm not, like, oh, my God, what's your rising? Oh, my God, Aries. I'm, like, we don't get along. Like, I don't judge people on their star signs. I think that is, like, too far, personally. But I'm all for it. I love learning about it. I would like to know more about it. If I do get, like, a tarot reading on my For You page, I will um, watch it. And usually, they're very, very relevant to what I'm going through. So, I feel like it's super interesting. And I do eventually want to get more into it. Um, I'm not, like, too into it now. Like, I wouldn't really do, like, a tarot reading on my own or anything. Tarot reading. But, um... Yeah, like, I do, like, star signs and crystals and all that. I literally have, like, crystals in each of my handbags. I need to get one for my new bag. And I just feel like they're just, like, fun. And I feel super, like, connected with the universe when I do, like, have a crystal with me. How does it feel being an influencer and inspiring and making people happy? It honestly is a very rewarding job. The only stressful thing about it is, like, the whole point, the whole, like, being an influencer, the whole job and the whole point of it is to stay relevant and to keep people interested in views and looking good and you do base i feel like as you like the more you're an influencer and the longer you've been in the game the more you base your worth of how good your instagram pictures are how many views you're getting your engagement like you know what i mean like your worth like even if people love you as soon as your engagement goes down you feel like you're like gonna get like people are forgetting about you like it's very stressful in that sense like trying to stay relevant like i can see why people like caught like cause drama and make their tiktok spicy because they want to stay relevant they want to stay in it and i feel like i grew so quickly and now i'm just like flatlining which is great like i'm not complaining about my views or anything but i feel like it is very easy to base your worth off how many likes that post got and i feel like it is honestly fair because it is my job and I feel like if it isn't your job then obviously it likes and that don't matter but when it is your job likes do matter and honestly like that is what you start to base your worth off and honestly I don't let it get to me that much but I feel like obviously sometimes it does like it is my job at the end of the day so I feel like that side of it is really stressful and just trying to stay relevant and trying to keep people interested and always coming out with content and if you have a down week like there's no down weeks do you know what I mean like people are like where'd you go like why aren't you posting then you get shadow banned if you don't post like it is very it is stressful but honestly every job is stressful like i'm not complaining at all it is like i didn't i never wanted this to be my job like it was never anything that i like obviously i always thought it would be cool and i used to do youtube and stuff but i never ever like okay i want to be an influencer and started posting so i feel like it kind of just fell into my lap and i'm so grateful that it did because honestly now that i do it 
it's like now my dream job like obviously i do still want to be a doctor and hopefully one day i can go to uni and pursue that dream but like for right now i am so happy and just content with my life and my job and just everything like i literally could not be more happy with where i am but i feel like that obviously every job has their stressful sides and their downsides so i think it is about like weighing it up and it's just like a lot of pressure i think that's the one word i would use to describe it it's just like pressure but i absolutely love it and i wouldn't trade it for anything would you move to another country or is australia just too good i honestly don't think i'd ever move country i would move states like i'd move around australia um i would travel like i definitely would travel um but i don't think i could mainly because of my family like being so close to my family is like i just i can't be far from my family i just couldn't um so i don't think i could ever move country i obviously do want to travel but when i do travel i travel with my family most of the time anyway like i do travel with my mum, so i feel like i'm always with her anyway so yeah i just don't think i could move country like after traveling and then coming back to australia i'm like i just could not live like permanently anywhere else like i couldn't my car smells like kfc now hope you're happy how many kids would you like to have in the future so i used to want to have like literally seven because all i wanted was like a big family i don't really have like many cousins like i do obviously love my cousins and my family but i never really had any cousins like my age like i never really grow up i never really grew up being around like heaps of kids like obviously my siblings and stuff but all i want is to just have heaps of children and then have my siblings have heaps of children and i just love big families i think because i love my family so much and i want to like keep spreading that and spreading the family genes that i literally was like I literally um, one point wanted to have seven and I was adamant on it and I was like okay maybe that's a bit unrealistic so I think now I've actually <clears throat> I think now I've come to a realistic number of four I feel like my mum had four kids and I just think it's such a good number um I do have a list on my phone of my names and they're not changing so I already know the name of my children the names of my children which is just so cool and my mum and I literally talk about them all the time like their names we're like oh so and so like you know what I mean like we'll say something we're like oh little baby so and so wearing that would look so cute like we literally have like I've manifested them like since I realized I wanted kids like ages ago I got their names I put them in my notes and now I'm like literally talking about them and they're not even here so it'll be so cool when they're finally here and I'll be like bitch I've talked about you like 20 freaking years before you even born so it is really cool but i think four is like the realistic thing i've come to although i did watch tammy and Ross's birth video and now i'm like mm, maybe i'll adopt because that looked traumatizing and i'm so like how is she that strong like i don't understand like she is superwoman go-to outfit i do love a good cargo or like baggy jean and then a baby tee or a long sleeve in winter with a scarf or a jacket like that's honestly just a go-to like i can't really think of anything else that's better would you ever get your belly pier belly pierced or any other piercings i really want like heaps of ear piercings i want like one there maybe and then like a hoop there i just want to i love seeing like people with just like heaps of sexy ear piercings so if you guys have like your oh, i've heard college just hurts like a bitch and just never heals um can you please comment your experiences with like this one and like this one maybe even like here i just want like heaps of <clears throat> I just want like heaps of ear piercings and I'm just like too scared to go like anywhere above the lobe because that's how much of like I'm such a bitch when it comes to pain. So please comment your experiences with ear piercings. I don't think I want a belly piercing. Everyone tells me I should get one. I wanted one at one point when I was like in year nine away and now I'm like, mm, I don't know. If I did get a belly piercing, the only one I'd put in it was just like that tiny little like silver ring or gold ring. I feel like they are really cute, but I don't know. I just don't really like, I don't think I would like it personally on me. Let's just clean this up. Well, this was really fun i forgot how much i have like how much fun i have just talking to my literally to myself like it feels like i'm talking to you like i really when i'm sitting here i ew i just kind of process and i literally sit and talk to myself but i don't i'm talking to you just made me remember how much i love doing mukbangs so i'll definitely be doing more if you guys want me to do these like fortnightly or weekly just tell me and i will because it literally reminded me how much i love them but i'm gonna go home do some cleaning it's actually supposed to be i'm doing a little daily vlog so i'll film i love you guys so much thank you for watching and i hope you loved it and i hope it was interesting if you want me to do these more comment down below comment what videos you want to see from me whether you want more vlogs more mukbangs like i love to know what you guys love obviously like i will put out content that i love as well but it would be nice to know what you guys love watching so let me know i love you all and i genuinely hope you're all doing well my dms are always open if you guys just want to chat or want someone to vent to even if i don't reply like i feel like it's nice to just get it out it's like a notes like writing in your notes just good to type it out um but yeah i love you all thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video Mwah.